We've been up for an hour. Yeah, about an hour. I've been up for about an hour with Jason. He probably was up for longer than that, but he couldn't get up here to talk to me about it. He was down on the couch. He slept there last night to try and see if he could sleep better not up here, if it was truly like mold. Um, flaring up his asthma. Um, he would know that if he got a good night's sleep downstairs. He clearly didn't. I left him down there at probably 1230 or one, fully awake. And he was up here wheezing, couldn't breathe at 530 this morning. Not even 5.30, so barely four hours after I left him. Obviously had been up more than that because when I went down there, he had a whole pile of tissues sitting next to his little bed that he had made. Our problem is I wanted to take him to the ER as soon as he came up here and saw how much he was wheezing and struggling to breathe. <sighs> Stupid healthcare here in the United States sucks. Not to go into a lot of details, but when we signed up for a new plan in January, which was normal, um, everything went fine. We got a new plan. It was $40 more a month, but it was a better plan. The save us overall. Got the plan, and we said, when is the first payment due? When we get our information, our new cards. And said, oh, you won't have to pay in January. You'll just get your first payment with a payment book in, or payment in the mail in February. You'll get your cards. Just wait till February. February came. February went. We got halfway through February. Still no cards. Still no payment information. Called. Oh, we'll just do a payment over the phone. Your cards are on their way. Don't worry about it. So we're current in February with our payment. Still nothing by March. No card. No payment information. Called again. Made a payment over the phone. Still no cards in the mail. We'll get those expedited to you. That's great. Come April, again, no payment information, but we have got the cards. So we call again, make another payment over the phone, and they're confused why we are late on our payments, and we're not late on our payments. <sighs> but we again made a payment in April, so we're not late on any of our payments. We have made them all. The very first of May, we're in the middle of COVID, we get a letter saying that our insurance is terminated for lack of payment and they're refunding our last payment. Get that? Did you hear that? They're refunding our April payment because we're past due on our payments. Does that make any sense to you guys? I'm ranting and raving right now because my husband sat here in our bed, struggling to breathe, having to text message me. I can show you the text messages because he can't talk. not wanting me to take him to the ER because he knew it would cost us too much out of pocket. And we're fighting it. And we have been, we've reported the insurance company to the Better Business Bureau. We've heard from half a dozen people personally that literally had the exact same happen to them this year. Exact same time frame. I hate that we had to question whether we went and got medical care because someone in our office can't do their job. And I can't go with my husband. I called my father in law not knowing what to do. Jason was refusing to let me take him. He physically wouldn't get off the bed. He would not let me take him to the ER. So I called his father. And sometimes I think the parent gets to make the call for their kid even at the age of 45 for Jason. His dad probably won't be able to go in except for to explain to the ER front desk what's wrong because Jason can't talk. Um, he'll have to go back out to his car and call me and tell me what the status is along the way but um, his dad wasn't going to let me worry about it. He wanted to go and take care of his own son, which I totally understand. I want to be there for Jason, but um, right now I'm letting his dad take care of him while I sit here and worry. And 
wait for the insurance company to open up so I can give them a piece of my mind. So I'm gonna sit here and wait for Jason to call or his dad to call and I'll give you an update. I'm just furious. This is what we were talking about the other night. There's so much going on in the US right now and around the world. This is the last thing we need to worry about. So I'm in the hospital, um, had an asthma attack, couldn't breathe this morning, and it was really bad, so I went to the ER, I've done a couple EKGs and some blood work, everything's going, coming back normal, um, which is good, so maybe I've got some sort of bronchitis, give me a band of antibiotics. Maybe I've got some beginning of asthma, so they'll give me some inhalers. Um, but that's my day. I do feel better. I can breathe. My oxygen level is now back to normal rather than being below normal. It was at 89. Uh, well, there you go. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Jason just got home. Got your little electrodes all over you. Yeah, we gotta take them off. Yeah. Obviously, I didn't die. I didn't think you would die. <laughs> uh, no, it, I have a good heart. I have everything. I'm not sure why I, I really have all this. So no bronchitis? Uh, well, there's some irritation in the bronchial stuff, so they're giving me a... Steroids. Yeah, and then they're giving me asthma. Well, they're giving you an inhaler. Inhaler. For the asthma. <coughs> nope, two more. Three more. Where? One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Here, I'll let you put your shirt on now. <laughs> so, it doesn't surprise me at all. He's already packing it to go to work. Oh, well, I gotta get breakfast first. It's only been five hours since this whole thing started and you couldn't breathe, babe. I've been up since like... I know you have. I don't think you even like went to sleep. But do you think going to work is the option right now? Uh, Why don't you hold off, go get meds? <laughs> well, I have my inhaler. Okay, you don't want to rest at some point today? Oh, I was just sitting on an emergency room bed for a while. All right, well, I, I'm not going to... I couldn't even convince him to let me take him to the ER, so I'm not going to be able to convince him well, to stay my home. My dad was appreciative that you called him and forced me to go, basically. He said he reamed you once you came back to the car. He called me back. Oh. He said, just so you know, I'm on your side. And if he ever does that to you again, you can call me and I'll have him <laughs> chat with him. Yeah, he told me I needed to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, 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 yeah. You needed to tell me what? I didn't hear you. <laughs> that you were right. Okay. <laughs> that I should have taken you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you guys. It is 5 o'clock. I've had a, such a long day. And I'm so tired. I'm so hungry. I just picked up a Papa Murphy's because I'm over it. I just, I can't anymore today. Oh, hang on. Sorry about that. I have spent the last two hours in lines. I left the house at, what, three o'clock? Actually, 2.30, so two and a half hours. Um, went to post office, waited in, not waited in line, but waited for 20 minutes for it to figure out the stupid city that I was trying to ship something to. And then 40 to 45 minutes in line at the bank. Because someone was new working there and they wanted to ask every single security question in her book for every single person. Even though I've had an account with that bank for 24 years. 24 years I've had an account with that bank and I've been going to this branch for 15 years. <laughs> 18 years, 18 years, In insane. <sighs> and then I spent 20 minutes in line at Target to get his prescription filled and then I had to wait another 20 minutes to get it filled. So I went over and got the pizza and I, I, like, I'm just done. And I've been worried about Jason all day. He's only answered his phone one time. 
to ask uh, answer a question about his prescriptions. I was worried about the cost of his prescriptions. I thought it was going to be hundreds, but it turns out it was only eighteen dollars. And then there was an old prescription that he didn't refill back from November when the, all of this started. That was only like seven dollars. And so I refilled that one because um, I think that is an acid reflux prescription for him, even though his dad brought over the Prilosec today. So hopefully with all this medication now that he can get a good night's sleep tonight. I'm exhausted. I just had Kaylee preheat the oven um, for me as I drive home. She's working on a photography project with Chelsea, which is kind of cute. So maybe we can get a sneak peek at that when we get home. Chelsea won't mind me filming her um but Kaylee probably will so I, I have abandoned my kids like all day long because I was on the phone for two hours this morning talking to my mom and my sister-in-law about how Jason was doing and about life and then I got the kids done with their school for the most part I left Chelsea with stuff she could do on her own while I left so fingers crossed she actually got it done otherwise she's going to be behind for tomorrow's work um what else did I do that was it that's all I've done today wait in line <laughs> just so tired and I just texted Jason I was like you need to come home you're gonna crash and you're gonna have another uh, you know asthma attack and you're not gonna be able to drive or you're gonna get in an accident and I'm just I'm over it I'm, I want to go home. I rented the movie Emma last night on Redbox and I have not watched it. My battery's flashing. I'm going to go home, put, movie, put the movie in, turn it on, cook this pizza, lay down on the couch, and watch a movie because it's been a really stupid day. I've gotten a lot done. It's just taken so much extra time and I don't know why. I don't know why. So it's not focusing. This poor deer. Oh, there he goes. Then is it going to go right back out? Oh. I don't know. Oh, where is he going? He doesn't have anywhere to go. Uh -huh. Poor thing. There's a fence right there. Go across the other way. I don't want to... Hit it. Just go down a little bit. Yeah. Oh, see, he wants to go across. Poor thing. He doesn't know. I think it's a baby. Once it gets down to here, it'll have more space to go. Alright, wow, well, he doesn't know what to do. Right there. Alright, there he goes. Did he go down? Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, there's people. Okay. So it's been a couple hours. I watched Emma and need to take the movies back to Redbox. And Kaylee is blessing me with her presence because her iPad has run out of battery. So I'm her last resort of entertainment. <laughs> is that correct? Yeah, yeah, she's admitting it. There's nothing else to do but go in the car with mom to take the movies back. But you won't even go into the end to take it back, will you? Nope. Nope. So then we saw that poor little deer stuck and he doesn't know where to go. I think it's a baby, but he's lost his little mama. But I want to talk to Jason about how he's feeling and if he has gotten his COVID results back for the day. I don't know if he has or not. It's probably negative, which is why he hasn't mentioned it to me, but I'm curious to know if he's heard back from the hospital yet. So we will go and talk to him when I get back. Goodness sakes, now we have Mama up here. We just are coming back. Oh, where is she? Is she already over now? Oh, there she is. There is move. So how are you feeling? Still have what feels like acid reflux here, but <coughs> I can breathe. Have you gotten your te your test results back? Oh, they didn't call, which means I don't have it. Oh, if they don't call, then. Oh yeah, I mean, if if I had a tested positive, they would totally call because they've got. But they said that if we don't call you. you well, don't... the doctor said we'll call you either way. The other guy, the technician, said they'll call you if you're positive. Oh, okay. And well, I mean... battery died quickly. All right, so we have and a... We're back at it with a battery? Yeah. So, anyway, Ugh. it's been a long day. I'm glad you feel better. Oh, I feel fat and old. <laughs> <laughs> My mom um, is <coughs> well-versed on taking steroids for her asthma. And she's like, he's going to pee a lot, and he's not going to be able to sleep. 
And I was like, that is well, not, not going to make him happy. Anyways, so yeah. why not throw a pee in it and give me something to do during the night? Yeah, so he's not going to have just, good nights, but... I just want to get back to feeling normal. I, oh, you will. I'm tired. Yeah. I haven't slept much in the last 40 hours. But... I just want this crap in my chest to go. I think they're only addressing the asthma. The problem is when you do stuff to help the asthma, it, it makes the uh, acid reflux worse. Well, and that's what you take, you're going to take your Prilosex. I think that's going to help. I sure hope so. It's not breathing very well. Thing sucks. Yeah. I'm too tired to go like exercise, but in the past I've exercised and done all right, you know. So it's well, like, you got to give yourself a break to like recover. No, I will. But I also I know when you have asthma. Staying active helps because it keeps everything going, but... Anyway, <coughs> I joked at probably like an inopportune time today when he was at the hospital to ask... I, I wanted to ask you if you could ask him to fudge your the date of the COVID test to 72 hours before our trip. <laughs> yeah, if we knew when that was. Yeah. Uh, that may, might be our only ticket into Hawaii before the end of the year is actually getting a COVID test. And have any of you had a COVID test out yeah. there? Uh because I had it for the first time. It is not fun. Uh, I know. Why do they have to go in the nose? I thought I saw some Chinese people going in the mouth. I've never seen it anywhere but the nose. I know. And, it's like, and I thought uh, it was the one I saw from Bonnie and Joel's channel. They had to leave it in there for 10 seconds. And him, they just got it and went down me, and then pulled it right back. They got plenty. Yeah. They didn't. And then they slide it in and they're like, okay, I'm going down. And, and then they It's like three seconds, but they're not holding it for 10. Yeah. I think that person's just being brutal. Oh, yeah. come on, you're going to get plenty of crap on that little moment. <laughs> anyway. So, everything was fine. Get you feeling better. But all of my family was like, he went back to work? Yeah, that sounds about like Jason. Because <laughs> that's just what you do. But anyway, you guys, um, thanks for watching. And, and you if know. you guys have uh, acid reflux or asthma... Honestly, Give I want to learn about this. Tips on what you do, how do you, what do you eat? Uh, you know, I Google a bunch of stuff, but I really like real life things. So honestly, if you're comfortable sharing, I will earnestly read it and appreciate it. Um, I'm sure others will He'll take too, any so. tips, yeah. Because my sister, his, our sister-in-law, she, her asthma is flared up by eating gluten. So she's like, suck. yeah, <laughs> he can't have that. So anyway, you guys. Take care. Oh, this is bad lighting. So, he's gonna, yeah, he's got his I'm movie. Taking care. He's got Agents his. Agents of Shield. <laughs> Season four, episode nine. I, I'm gonna go back down to my reality TV, which he doesn't care to watch, which is perfect. So, take care, you guys, and have a good night.